Hello Foamers, this is Divyesh Varya. Welcome to DD Fluids. Today we will install OpenFoam in uh, WSL. So in our previous video tutorial, we have already installed uh, WSL in our Windows system. Now we will install OpenFoam version 2012 uh, in our WSL. So uh, among three versions of OpenFoam, we will install uh, ESI group based uh, open form version so the this open form version is uh, uh, released on uh, December 2020 okay so uh, first question is uh, how open form version 2012 is different than other uh, open form versions so in uh, version 2012 we have couple of uh, advantages for example uh, CF mesh uh, is available in uh, open form version 2012 other than that some extra solvers and uh, you can easily implement a modified boundary condition user defined boundary condition in this version here you need to know that uh, as a user perspective as a beginner there is not much uh, difference in any of the version but uh, if you are programmer uh, programmer then uh, each version is slightly different the programming they have done is uh, slightly different in each version so first we need to install openform software for that we will download the software from openform.com website so for that i'll open my windows terminal in that i'll type uh, openform.com and hit enter then from download step you will be able to see the uh, windows 10 live uh, native uh, tab uh, you click on it and then uh, from here you can download the uh, open form uh, for windows operating system so in the uh, this link uh, we will uh, from this link we will click on it and we will download the web install installation file so when we click on it, uh, it opens uh, Source Forge uh, website, and uh, as you can see, it will start uh, downloading our uh, package automatically. This package is uh, approximately 588 MB long, so it will take some time to download, depending on your inter internet connection. After successfully downloading this uh, uh, package we need to go to the uh, installation part so we will run these three commands and we will start installing uh, in open form in our WSL so first let us open my uh, uh, windows terminal I'll click on the windows terminal this will take some time to load your uh, ubuntu version here first I'll type uh, copy command so I'll type cp space hyphen r ar and this entire command we will type uh, in this command as you can see divye is a username of uh, my computer if you don't know the username of your computer you can just simply click on this file explorer and go to the uh, this pc and uh, c drive and then users uh, directory and then with public you will be able to see your uh, username uh, directory so here my name is d i v y e so i'll type that and uh, i'll hit enter this will take some time to copy the uh, downloaded file into our uh, Linux file here in 9 seconds as you can see I have downloaded the I have copied the case file uh, the file now let me uh, type sudo space tar then this command so this will extract my uh, package into opt folder now if I hit enter 
it will ask me for the password i'll type password and again i'll hit enter and then uh, it will start extracting all the files uh, extracting will take some time so i'll leave for a few seconds Here uh, I have uh, extracted all the files as you can see in 1 minute and 36 seconds I have uh, extracted my files. Let me clear the terminal by typing clear command hit enter. Uh, now let us type this command to transfer the uh, ownership to the user of uh, Win uh, Linux so it won't take much time. Now the next step is uh, compiling the uh, software so to compile the software we will uh, go through these three steps first we will start with uh, typing this command we will open zshrc file in notepad and then we will uh, type this uh, line uh, in that file and then at the end we will uh, source this file so again Mm, let me open my uh, terminal first i'll type notepad.exe then tilde backsplash dot rc this will open this notepad file so from here i'll uh, go at the end i'll type dot uh, backsplash dot space backsplash uh, open form open form uh, version 2012 uh, here you need to know that uh, open form and windows terminal are uh, case sensitive so you should be very specific when you type this line uh, all capital and small letter should be uh, typed correctly otherwise you will get an error while running the simulation so i have typed the command uh, uh, let me save the file and uh, close it now let me source the uh, zshrc file uh, for that i'll type uh, source space uh, tilde Z blackspace dot zshrc so in seconds i am able to see the uh, file uh, sourcing okay now the next step is uh, some post processing setup so for that uh, we need to install some uh, additional dependencies so i'll type this command in my terminal uh, sudo space apt space install space bison space flex space m4 now we try enter in few seconds uh, it will uh, install that those files now uh, let's move on uh, the next step is creating the run folder so uh, uh, when we simulate our simulation we will create uh, the run folder and we will keep all the files in that run folder so for that i'll type mkdir space hyphen p space dollar form underscore run this will create the file now next step is creating some uh, desktop shortcuts sometimes we want to copy the files from uh, windows to our linux system so for that i'll type cd space the three double dot 
now this lock icon will be there so i'll type uh, explorer dot exe space dot and i'll hit enter that will open my uh, explorer now i'll create the shortcut of this folder so i'll go back into the wsl dollar sign i'll right click on this ubuntu and then from this list uh, i'll click on create shortcut when i click on it it will ask me whether you want to create shortcut on desktop so let me hit and yes now as you can see ubuntu dot ubuntu 20.04 folder is there let me create one new folder and uh, i'll name it uh, linux uh, i'll cut there uh, i'll move this uh, folder shortcut to linux so for that i'll cut and uh, i'll paste it here you can actually remove uh, rename this uh, ubuntu shortcut to just ubuntu 2004 okay so the next step is uh, uh, we will create the same way the shortcut for tutorials so when i type tut uh, it will uh, redirect me to this uh, location I'll type explorer.exe space dot again same uh, same way different folder is available click on right click on tutorials send to create shortcut or uh, send it to desktop and it will automatically create the desktop sh shortcut close it now let us type run enter and uh, we will create shortcut for the run the same way we have created for other folders okay so we have created all the shortcuts now uh, let us uh, create a let's move run and uh, tutorials shortcuts into the uh, linux folder for that i'll cut this two shortcut uh, folders into linux paste it you can rename both uh, with uh, tutorials and run Okay, so our uh, all the folders are uh, shortcuts are in the correct place. Now let's install Paraview. For that, uh, we will visit website, download the software, and install the software. So in our uh, uh, browser, I'll open new window. I'll type uh, paraview.org and uh, hit enter. From this Paraview uh, window, I click on Downloads, and that will open uh, the um, download section. And from there, as you can see here, download Windows section is enabled. Now, uh, with uh, this uh, .exe file, I click on it, and I'll download the files. It's 233 MB file, so it will take some time. Uh, I have downloaded the file once you download it open up your uh, downloads folder and then uh, double click on this uh, paraview.exe uh, file click next agree next install this will take some time to install uh, paraview so the paraview uh, window we are uh, installing externally because we want to uh, 
use uh, this paraview software to visualize our simulation uh, after simulating the case files Okay, so once it finishes the installation, uh, we will click on the uh, finish button. And with this, we have successfully installed OpenFOAM version 2012 and Paraview version. If you are looking for the PDFs and materials of related to OpenFOAM, you can join my Telegram channel. Also, you can visit uh, my YouTube channel and uh, you can subscribe to that channel. Uh, if you want to connect me on social media, you can connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter with this uh, user ID. So stay healthy, stay fit. Uh, see you uh, in the next video. Bye bye.